Hello YouTube, Burke with Repaid and back with another video. And today I'm gonna to show you guys what a new a new custom mock I made. This is a World War II Pacific Theater SBD Dauntless Dive Bomber. Um you might you might recognize it because it looks a lot like the Corsair I made a couple of videos back. And I and I tell you this. I had to crush the Corsair to make the to use the pieces to build this. So basically some of the stuff like the underbelly is still the same. It's still white. Whoops, that fell off. Uh, but yeah, I just extended the thing, added a gunner seat, moved the cockpit up a little further, fixed the wings, and yeah, made it a little bigger. But yeah, this is what came out. Um, I'll go like a front to back review of the the ship if you guys want. Um, I might talk a little bit at the end of the video because I might do say some stuff that I got plans coming up. Anyway, let's get into the build, and to first off, from the front view, you can obviously see, like, the same Berkey propeller, like, slant is still the same resemblance. <sighs> um, and I still have the folding landing gear, although they do look a bit more clunky, because the wings aren't tilted a bit slightly, because the Dauntless had straight wings. And you might be wondering, you might be noticing the bomb that's fixed underneath, and this is my new bomb design. It's made out of four pieces. There's a red, like, Technic piece, axle in between. And there's, like, this brick and whatever these domes are called. A dome. A two-by-two two dome. Um, yeah, there's the machine gun slots right here. I think, wait, I think the Dauntless had, like, the machine guns up here, but these are the same wings. I just redid them, like, fixed them onto the thing. Uh... Moving down, you get the pilot seat, and I'll just remove all the walls and the, like, roof stuff. So you guys can have a better view. And I think the little joystick right there that was up there, the, like, throttle joystick, um, broke off again. I am not putting it back on because it's a pain to do, and I don't want to take the pilot out. Same pilot minifigure from earlier, from last time. This, the little dials are still there. But in, the new addition is the gunner seat in the back, which I can just angle the plane like this to show. For the gunner, I have the guy from the from the Pacific Base mock, R.I.P. Rest in pieces. Uh, and it's just another basic airman. It has like the same like design, like tan legs, orange vest, blue legs, black hands. Um, and yeah, and but I couldn't get any, my hands on any more goggle pieces because these. This is actually I got, I had to pull off of a. A minifigure I got from like a one of those blind poly bags way back when. I haven't got one of those in forever. But yeah, you can put him in the back, give him like a Star Wars blaster machine gun, and like clip it in his hand, and like boom, you got a rear turret gunner. I'm not fixing it onto his hand because that's just a pain to do. Uh, but yeah, and if anyone tells me in the comments the the rear turret is bad because they had a fixed a double a fixed double barrel Browning machine gun in the back. To that, I say, now that I think of it, I could have just taken the browning off my Jeep, so I'm just going to do that right now. Quick little mod session. Insert elevator music. At first, put that stand in there. Put that out of the way. I could just take this and add it to the back, but I think it would be, like, way too clunky because, the, the, like, the tail would be in the way. And on, on aircraft, the barrel was actually shortened to about half the length. And I don't have any of those. This is the only browning I have. So I might just put that back on the Jeep. Here you go, man. I'm not gonna I'm gonna clean up that, that up later. But for now, I'm just doing this. And if they want a fixed gun, obviously that person, whoever says that, no one's probably gonna say that because I barely get any comments. Um uh if anyone says that, they have never tried to put a gun like a mounted gun in the back. So I went through dozens, I, I repeat, dozens of trials and none succeeded because they never fit they were too clunky or the design was just too bad um if you want this little like sunroof thing i made this like after i built the thing because i was like sure i'll just try to add a roof to the back because i couldn't have a sliding windshield because those are impossible to make you just lean forward my guy put it in there and just fit it right there um the tails is still the same it's just a little taller i got rid of like some of the stuff in the back the thing still moves and wiggles uh you can obviously tell that this is still the same except i made it way less neat there's like a hole straight through the middle because i can't build anything out of that i'm running out like dark blue pieces for these planes 
Um, but yeah, like that's that's the build so far. I know this is gonna be another short video. I try to make my videos longer by talking a lot. I'm gonna make this video by longer by talking a lot. So if you want, you can just exit the video now, or you can stick around for the announcement I'm gonna make. Um, and because I made this thing, the Dauntless, I've been thinking about making a Lego aircraft carrier. And I'm I'm thinking about how I'm gonna do that. Is if you if you if any of you watched my Pacific Airbase video, if you haven't, I'll link it down in the description so you guys can check it out to see what I'm talking about. My Corsar is in it, so you know comparison. Uh, I'm gonna make the runway of the carrier the same as the runway from the base, except I'll probably have it studded down. And for the hull of the ship, I'll probably use like two of the old Lego, like boat holes they're really i only have two of them and they're miscolored and they're miscolored one's white and one's green so that's gonna look weird but it's the best i got and i am not painting legos because that is just wrong uh but if i could i probably would um but yeah i'll probably just do that and if i build the carrier i might turn this thing back to the corsar so it can like land on the runway because the wings are going to be way longer than the deck of the carrier and the corsair has the folding wings which i think would help a lot if i wanted to like land this stuff and fit it on the deck of the carrier so in that case if that happens i'll probably turn this back to the corsair sorry but now i have this video to show you that guys that i'm building up my world war ii squadron because even though i can only have like Two planes at a time and i say two because i tried making a b25 bomber it did not go well if you guys want to see a video on that comment down below because uh i i made it like a couple weeks ago but it just came out so so bad like i have to admit it came out really bad so yeah it didn't come out good so if you guys want to see a video on it before i break it comment down below i was really struggling to make it because i because some of the pieces i wanted to use for it were on my corsair and i love my corsair way better than the dot than the b25 was ever going to be so yeah aircraft carrier coming up P pending b25 review and yeah thank you for watching this video i'll see y'all later and once again, thanks for choosing my channel to watch, even though there's probably other people you can watch, like Brickmania's Dauntless. But thanks for watching my video. Really appreciate it a lot. I'll see you all later. This is Brickbutter Payton, and I'll see you next time.